Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, it is a Wednesday night. We are at Quinn Hue. I had some requests to film the Opera House and a little bit more of this area, so we're gonna start off like that. I also had a request for what to do when you get out of the airport. I do not have footage of the airport because the way I get off the plane and do immigration, which I will explain in this video, but I have the airport memorized seeing as I've probably come and gone inside the Saigon airport 150 times, 100 times, a lot of times. So I'm well versed on this airport. So the main thing is like people are like, well, where do I get a SIM card? Where do I get money? Do I bring a bunch of money and exchange it at the airport? Uh, stuff like this. How do I get a taxi? I'm gonna explain all this in a very easy 10 minute video that is gonna be concise and to the point. So let's walk around. Of course, if you find this video helpful, you know what to do to help me say, B, subscribe. Come on now. Smash that like button. Oh, I gotta close my bag. Some troll said it, so it took me two minutes to say all that. Uh huh. You kindly put the information in to uh, help the channel. So, first things first, you're gonna arrive at the international airport. Unfortunately, you're most likely not going to be dropped off at a gate. You are gonna be taken somewhere in the middle of the airport that is far from a gate. You will get off of your airplane. You will then get into a bus. That bus will then take you to the uh, actual gate. And if it's an international trip, they're gonna take you to the same spot every time. You're gonna wanna be on the left-hand side of the front left door of the bus. As the bus pulls up, you wanna walk fast. You wanna be getting off that thing and you wanna walk directly to immigration as fast as you can. You do not wanna delay this because you're gonna need time. I'll show the opera house and we'll walk kind of to to okay. Way. There's this opera house everybody uh, loves. Some guy used to live back here, over here when he was a kid, which is really cool to hear those type of stories. Honestly, I'd love to interview some of those guys and like hear about like what it was like to grow up 30, 40 years ago here, like in this area, when there was probably a lot of this stuff wasn't here. I know some of these hotels are that old, but I think a lot of it wasn't here. So, yeah. You want to get off the bus quickly and you want to walk your ass to immigration. You're going to get off, you're going to walk up a, a flight of stairs. Do not take the escalator. This is all a speed game. Walk up them stairs, book it tracks up there. You're going to take a right immediately out of the exit for international and you're going to walk down. And you're going to walk down quick. Immigration is then going to be on your left hand side. Immigration is very slow right now. There's nothing they can do about it. It's just too many people coming in all at one time. Thailand's got slow immigration right now unless you've got some priority uh it's just going to be slow in a lot of places the only countries that really have it streamlined are like singapore and stuff like this so it's going to take a little bit of time to get in you're going to want to once you get to the immigration right don't pick a line right away this took me a while to figure out but i've learned it more so these past few times coming through international immigration is walk to the middle and don't pick a line and watch. Watch, watch for two minutes, maybe three minutes. And I know I'm giving away my secret tip here of how I get through immigration pretty quickly usually now, but watch for about two or three minutes. See what guy is, is not taking forever. You know, some of these guys just take forever. Like, for real, like, it's just, they're not in a hurry and they don't care how long their line is or how long it takes you to come through. So watch the line, see which one's moving fastest, and then get into that one. Whichever one you see a dude that's processing somebody every 30 seconds to under a minute is the guy you want doing yours. If, if, if you're seeing lines where a guy's taking two minutes, he's checking the picture, he's checking it again, he's, he's what, where'd you come in from? What'd you do here? <laughs> Look at this sweet deal here. Whoa, 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 that's too much horsepower, my guy. <laughs> Too much power. How much horsepower has it? Like 12 or 17? 15. 15. Yeah, 15. So, so this is the. The carbon fiber has to at least add two. Oh, you might have more. You got a 200, so this might be. It's a 174. Oh, so it's the same as mine. Yeah. Why are they putting 200 on here, though? 
Copy, 200 sounds better than once every four. Lion bastards. Nobody has these yet. I've never seen another one of you. I've seen, I'm in like a group, so I see a lot of people, but I've I'm never a, seen anyone. I'm in a group on Facebook. We talk about how cool our shit is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I've never seen anyone driving one, though. It does look like a real Yoshimura pipe. It's not, but it does. But for what it is, like, what, do I need to spend 500 bucks on a Yoshimura pipe? Hell no, you know? It was Dude. Like, I think it was like 180 bucks. And they, like, they made the whole... They made the whole... They and they like, did a good job, yeah, too. Yeah, they literally yeah. custom built a mid -range. Yeah, yeah. So, but you can't buy one of those. There'll be a review on my channel on this in a week. Yeah. I haven't gone and done it yet. It's pretty good, man. For it's got a pretty is. comfortable... It's got an adjustable riding position, yeah. too. So, it was like 120, I think, with all the fees and everything. Yeah. But, you know, like, it has, like, like the best belt we had to buy pegs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, this one has it, like, in there. Um, it has bigger wheels, bigger brakes. Uh, what else? It looks badass. Does look good. The, the shocks, we got the shocks adjusted. We adjust them. We adjust them in the middle now. Well, you can get you can get some Olins and then get the gas outside. Yeah. Look real cool, my yeah, guy. It does look cool. <laughs> That's what like, oh, you should get those. I'm like, oh. If you're not bottoming out, and if you're not having, it, it was it was uh, it was hitting hard, but I think the tires were low, yeah. and I had them adjusted up one, like uh -huh. one hardness, uh -huh. and it rides pretty freaking good now. But even like going to Cambodia, like those long stretches, like forward it, yeah. it just felt like planted to the road. You know the best one feels a little flimsy, yeah. but it's good for like around town. But oh, look at him! Performance. This is five horsepower right here, guys. Maybe seven. It needs a few more stickers to go I, faster. I did, I did get a graphic kit. It's like all here. Oh, he's got a graphic kit. It it's like, coming. It like 20 bucks. All right, I gotta switch out battery and then we'll finish the uh, airport video. All right, we're back. So I was, we were chopping it up with my buddy. Like I said, the the full review on that Aprilia will be coming soon. They actually introduced, they introduced, uh, uh, they're letting you drive through here again now. So like, pretty wild to be honest with you. I, I couldn't believe it. So, you, you've got the immigration, you're through the immigration. The next thing you need is a SIM card, right? So, it, they make it super easy in the airport to get a SIM card and do all this stuff. Pick a vendor. Viettel has the most uh, rebroadcasting stations in all of Vietnam by like a hundredfold. Viettel's owned by the government. It's going to be your best SIM card provider with probably a mobile phone coming in second. Uh, Venaphone does not have as many broadcasters across all of Vietnam, but it now has become a very strong broadcaster as of in Saigon. So the Venaphone 5G is the fastest 5G I've tested out of all of them. I recently did a test for online streaming for when we do streams to see who the fastest was, and I was able to get speeds of 186 megabytes per second on a download and around 100 megabytes a second on an upload from Vena. Venaphone uh, 5G. And then for Viettel, I got 100 and 100 pretty much on the 5G. And for Mobifone, it's it's really hit or miss. Mobifone's like 50 50, uh, 50 megabytes, 50 megabytes down. So 5G is all over in District 1. That's really the only area you're going to get it at. Uh, you can pick the different plans, pick appropriately to what you're doing, um, and for the length of your stay. The, there's no ripoff price there, so pick whichever one you prefer. Like I said, Viettel is probably the preferred one of Saigon. Other things you can do in the airport is a money exchange, which I would not do in the airport. Uh, a lot of people exchange a lot of money in the airport at the money exchange. It's not the best rate. The best rate is always going to be over by Benton Market. It's always going to be the best rate there, so go there to do all your exchanging of, of, of the money there. If you do need to exchange some money, just exchange like a hundred bucks there. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about. So you've come out, you've gone through the immigration, you've done that, you've gotten your cell phone, you've gotten your SIM card in, your phone's working, you've got data, you know where to go now. So the next thing is, do you take a grab or do you take a taxi? I stopped taking a grab because it's inconvenient to go to the area where the grab is. Here is exactly how you do a taxi. You're going to walk out of the airport. There's going to be a lot of people standing out the airport. You're going to see a Burger King to the right, and you're going to see something else to the left. You're going to just walk left. You're going to walk left for about 200 yards. 200 yards down, you're going to see taxis. There's going to be a bunch of guys asking you about a taxi, asking this, asking that. You're going to just say no. You're just going to keep walking. You're going to keep walking, keep walking to the end, to where you actually see there's a taxi line. You do not get into the taxi line. You just act like that isn't even there. Walk past people if they're in line. 
you will see Vina Sun on the right hand side. That's Vina Sun. There's a white uh, taxi company. This is the only taxi company that I use. I will not use really any other taxi company. You will see a Vina Sun uh, minivan. There's one right over here. Vina Sun. Vina Sun. So you will then get in that Vina Sun taxi. You will tell him where you're going and he will run the meter. There, you don't do a flat rate. You don't do anything like that. For me, it usually costs 200K to go from the airport in a Vina Sun to District 1. That, that is about the going rate. And you're going to want to pay that cash. You can pay on credit, but I would advise that you do pay on cash. So there you go. I've given you the exact playbook on going into the airport, getting off the airport, getting off the airplane, getting on the bus properly, which side, how to get out, walk up the stairs, go to the immigration, pick the right immigration line, get through that immigration line, get you your cell phone uh, package. And then if you don't bring any money to transfer, the last thing you can do is there's a Citibank ATM directly in the uh, airport as you're exiting. It'll be on the right hand side by the cell phone vendor people. So you'll just want to pop in there and get a uh, some money. You know? And like I've always told everybody, if you get a Charles Schwab account or a Fidelity account, or there's a few other ones, Chime doesn't tar charge you anything, uh, get you a bank account that doesn't charge you any transaction fees and you're Gucci Gooch. Yeah, so gonna... you do all those things and you'll have a, a perfect way of getting out and out into the city. If you want a bit of adventure and you're not having a huge carry-on bag, you can walk outside of the airport, approximately five minute walk outside the airport. So you'll You'll exit and you'll start to exit where the cars are kind of exiting. There will be a gas station on the right hand side. Uh, there's usually a guy called Sun there. If you've ever seen my first video ever, he, that guy is a legend. Uh, he will drive you from the airport on a motorbike to where you're at for a very, very good fee. Usually it's 150K, 200K. It's, it's almost the same as the taxi. It's just more of an adventure. That, that guy is literally my first vlog ever. If you've never seen my first video, I will post it as the video at the end of this video. I suggest you watch it. I was heavily influenced by Harold Balder back in those days. It was a funny video. You could see the excitement in my face to come move here. So as ever, thank you guys for the support. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So again, thank you for watching. I hope this helps some people out there. If I did help you on your journey here and this is your first time watching, drop a subscribe for the channel. Help your boy out. All right, guys, stay frosty. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.